experts here say that there could be some big changes at, as to what's built alongside some single family homes that we often see. We know the city is working on a residential infill program to allow more multiplexes. And a court fight is underway to block this. Our Lisa Balick is live in Southwest Portland to explain. Lisa. Yeah, I want you to take a look at something behind me. There are some signs that are popping up all over in Portland neighborhoods. Take a look over there. It says Save Our Neighborhood, Stop Rezoning. You're seeing a lot more of these as many homeowners are fighting plans to allow what's called more middle housing. What we're talking about are smaller two, three, or four unit multiplexes, like row homes or four unit dwellings that are rentals or individually owned. The Multnomah Neighborhood Association of Southwest Portland is in court fighting the city, appealing a plan that would let developers tear down existing single-family homes and replace them with these multiplexes almost anywhere in Portland. Is they're going to increase the redevelopment potential so the less expensive homes will be sold to developers and they will be turned into rental units of up to like four units. Now, city planners I talk with today say this is still a work in progress as to where this type of development would be allowed, such as whether it would have to be near transit. But they say it would allow people more choices besides just renting or buying a single family home. Eventually, it will be up to the city council to approve a residential infill plan after, of course, it works its way through the courts. So it will be many more months before any decision is to made as to whether this is all going to move forward here in Portland. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Okay, no